Okay, so welcome everyone to a Happy Mouth intro call. Uh, so glad to be here. I'm Shauna Teakin. I am the worldwide coordinator for Happy Mouth and a Happy Mouth facilitator. On this call today, we have um, Marcella and Vanessa who are going to be the hosts um, in Argentina, in Buenos Aires, and Claudia, um, who is also one of our hosts and our translator. We also have Mauricio, who I think is translating Portuguese for us. Welcome, everyone. And um, we have also joining us Carol Danes from Australia, who is one of the first Happy Mouth facilitators. She's now facilitating the Happy Mouth Basics class. And very soon, uh, Claudia will be facilitating the Happy Mouth Basics class in Spanish, which I'm very excited about for her. Now, let me see. Yes, I am recording. <laughs> and it will be going out, replay and audio. So don't worry. Oh my God, I've got a million people messaging me and I, I can't look at that so, welcome to Happy Mouth. I um, look forward to your questions. Please put them in the chat or ask your translator and we'll translate them. Let's all just take a big deep breath right now. Would you pull some energy down through the top of your head, through your body, into the earth? And if that's a bit too spooky wooky for you oh well happy mouth is an energy uh, therapy or energy modality um, pull some earth energy up through your body and just take a big breath and relax the whole world is in a really uh, strange intense place right now everyone's in um, survival mode oh my god where where is the next meal going to come from how will i pay the rent with all the coronavirus stuff it's very interesting that Happy Mouth is having incredible increase in interest right now because Happy Mouth is about activating systems in your body which should be there, which allow you to have health and happiness, which is why it's called Happy Mouth. And what we've found is, uh, oh, thank you, Sharon. I'll come back to your question in a moment. What we have found is that uh, these systems, once they get activated, once you clear up what's going on in your mouth, 80 to 90% of what may be going on with the rest of your body will clear too. In other words, whatever's happening in terms of illness or disease in your body, very often can be traced to what's going on in your mouth. Whether that's decay, whether it's clenching and grinding, whether it's uh, poor digestion, because digestion begins in the mouth, um, there's many, many factors, many, many energies involved with the mouth, not just having nice teeth um, and not just eating, but speaking, expressing yourself. Many, many energies get caught up in the mouth. And one of the biggest ones is a fear of going to the dentist. So let's just start um, straight up. If you have a fear about going to the dentist because of something that happened earlier in this life where you were, it was uncomfortable, it was painful, um, horrible, you know, the smells and tastes often at the dentist are not nice, or simply that your parents didn't like going to the dentist. Many children will pick up a phobia from the parents. I know of one little girl who, if a cat came into the room, she would scream and cry and panic. But her mother had a cat allergy. The little girl didn't. But the little girl had picked up the fear of the cats from the mother. So a lot of the time, it's not any experience we've had personally. It's our parents' points of view and attitudes. So with Happy Mouth, we use a number of different ways of working with the body. We like to come at it from many different angles. We, first of all, activate points on the head to um, stimulate those systems which should be running. For example, you should have a system that if you chip a tooth or crack a piece of a tooth off or your enamel is getting thin, there's a system in your body which should take care of that for you. 
it should respond and remineralize. But for whatever reason, that system is not operating. So we, using all of these different points on the head, and there's 17 different points, reactivate those systems. And they are, some of those are purely physical. So in the case of remineralizing a broken tooth, uh, strengthening bone that's become weak, regrowing gums. These are important things that you need for the health of your mouth. Some of the other points deal more with our ca oops, capacities to receive. One of the receivings is receiving the information, oops, this tooth needs fixing. Body, receive the information that a tooth has been lost, grow a new tooth and respond appropriately. But one of the other ways of receiving, as we all know, is receiving more ease, more happiness, more love, more money, more, more, more. Receiving can be on many levels. So we have a point on the head called the receptor point, which increases people's receiving. Receiving awareness, receiving information, receiving on all levels. And that point has a twin called the responder point. Receptor, responder, we, we run them at the same time as each other. They're at the top of the head. The responder says, okay, I've received the information that a tooth is chipped and now the body can respond appropriately with fixing that tooth. Um, so some of the points on the head relate to not purely physical things. We have a point for awareness. We have a point for um, more insight and more clarity. So happy mouth comes at the mouth and the health of the mouth from a purely physical point of view and also from a non-physical, let's call it a more energetic, you could call it maybe a more emotional point of view. So I have so many things. Valentina asked if you could speak slower. Yes, thank you. I can. <laughs> I get very excited and there's a lot of information. So, okay. Oh, Shauna, relax. Okay. And thank you. Somebody who said their parents have terrible teeth. I choose to have healthy teeth. Thank you. That's another thing we look at. So that was uh, Sharon. Okay. You are not bound by your genetics. And we do a lot of work with changing where we think just because our parents' teeth was a certain way, we have to have it the same way. So thank you for bringing that up. You are not bound by your genetics. Ah. <laughs> I have so much information that's pushing at me that I desire to give to you all. So please stop me at any point. So let me go back. Happy Mouth is a system of points on the head which a practitioner has to stimulate for you. You can't do it to yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. But what we say is if you come to a class, and I, I haven't got a manual here, but we give you a manual, and it's got wonderful diagrams of all the points on the head. You come to class, you go home, and you say to your lovely wife or husband or your son or your daughter, would you mind running these points for me? Please, darling, I love you. And we allow you to show the charts to your friend or your family member, and they can do it for you. It, you don't have to be a doctor to do this. It's very simple. A happy mouth point session is about 15 to 20 minutes. It's not an hour and a half hours on the table. So if you're thinking, oh, I need these changes for myself. Um, if I do the course, can I do it to myself? No. You can't do it to yourself, but you can show the charts to somebody else and they can run the points for you. But the points are just a part of the system. There are also hands-on processes where you'll be asking someone to actually hold wherever you have maybe a tooth missing or gums receding or decay or whatever's going on in your mouth. So there's points on the head. Hands-on processes, again, another person holding you very gently, which feels very nice. And then another large part of the Happy Mouth system 
is doing the energetic clearings or processings. Valentina, am I still speaking too fast? Let me know if so. The other thing is my cat is at the door. <laughs> Say meow, 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 let me in. So I try to say, stay out there, cat. <sighs> okay, so the other part is where we look at what is the um, energetic reason behind a whole lot of things. For example, you may be interested to know what the energetics behind tooth decay is, for example. And we tend to go, well, tooth decay is because you ate too many lollies, or tooth decay is because you didn't clean your teeth properly, or you've got tooth decay because, 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 because. Well, of course you need to clean your teeth and floss. Happy mouth is not a replacement for that. Good hygiene. Yes, you will still need to go to the dentist every six months, get a checkup, get your teeth cleaned. It's true. However, that's not the whole picture. There are many people who clean their teeth and floss and do all of those things and still have tooth decay. The energies behind tooth decay are really about where you are unwilling to move on in your life and change and grow. It's where we prefer to be comfortable and say, oh, my life is not that bad, really. What do I need all that for? I'm comfy here. And that's actually a form of stagnation. It's an unwillingness to change and grow. Someone else is messaging me. So we, go, we spend a lot of time going into that. What is that unwillingness to change and grow? Uh, another factor that we look at, which is very common for people, is gum disease, where their gums bleed or they've got infection in the gums or the gums are receding. There's a number of factors with the gums. One of them is where you agonise, torture yourself with overthinking every choice you have to make, where you can't decide where you go oh i'm not sure if i should do this and if i do this that this will happen oh but if i try ah oh, oh. it's all about trying to get it right and overthinking everything i'm sure none of you are like that where you try to make sure you make the right choice the perfect choice the best decision instead of just choosing and that shows up in the mouth in the gums particularly with gum uh, recession which is where your gums are falling away from your teeth and with a lot of uh, tooth decay too we are told that as you get older that's what you have to expect that's all you can expect it's part of aging well happy mouth I have to tell you is is kind of an anti-aging system dr. Tom calls it a youthening system because if you get out of this rule that you must uh, lose your teeth, your gums, your teeth have to get old and yucky as you get older, that's actually not true. Our bodies were designed to receive the information. Work needs to be done in the mouth and the body is designed to take care of that itself. Your body was designed to naturally regenerate and generate itself. And we actually have a youthening system point at the back of the head here, which we stimulate to start the body no longer aging, but actually youthening. I'm all over the place here. I've got people asking me questions. and Okay, let me take it back a step. And please stop me at any point if you'd like some clarity. Carol, please feel free to jump in and say, Shauna, you didn't cover something. There's so many people on. Wow. Okay. So let me go back. In Happy Mouth, we use an energy tool called a clearing statement. And you might already be familiar with that from if you know anything about um, access consciousness, for example, they have a clearing statement, which is a tool to clear energy. What a clearing statement does is take you back to the moment before something first got started or created. 
and clear all the energy forward to the present moment. In a way, it's a bit like a vacuum cleaner. If something started when you were three years of age and you fell and you hurt your mouth, and ever since then there's been pain and fear locked into your jaw, we can use a clearing statement, some words, that can take you back to the moment before that occurred, unlock it for you, and so let the energy go so the body can let go of the shock and the trauma. Our clearing statement is rather long, and I'm going to say it to you now, but I'll also send it to you in, um, we have it in Spanish, we'll get it in Portuguese and in English. So let's now run a clearing. Any shock or trauma that you may have and you may not even be aware of it in your mouth from an accident, a punch, a hit, a fall, something that's occurred in this lifetime, could we uncreate and destroy it all, please? Which means, can we let it all go? And you hopefully say yes. And then I'll say, from and to the highest good of all involved that benefits the oneness of the universe, a through F, all seven systems, all seven powers, pop for Fs, PPFs, all systems are visible and invisible and beyond thereof, ad infinitum, and all Mobius strips, may they be unwound, untied and decimated through all time and space, so that all of life may continue to come with ease, joy and glory in holiness. Whew! It's a big mouthful. I, I can explain what all of that means. Um, but... Even if you did not know what it meant, even if you heard me say that in Eskimo language or in some Sanskrit or ancient language in Latin, energetically it would still work for you. So we want to unlock the energies from the highest to the lowest. We want to leave no stone unturned in happy mouth. So when we say, all seven systems, all seven powers, all systems visible and invisible and beyond thereof, we are looking at all of the energies that come into play. We're actually clearing through all lifetimes, all realities and all spaces. With the Mobius strip part at the end, what we've found is that with most energetic clearings, a Mobius strip can pull itself back together. And a Mobius strip is that infinity symbol, it's in a loop. It looks like the number eight laying on its side. And actually the correct name for that is a Google. And it is where we are stuck in a repeating pattern of either uh, money or relationships or doubt or fear. A Mobius strip is a repeating pattern. We've found that with many clearing statements, that repeating pattern can put itself back together after about three days. So you think you've cleared something and it comes up again. So Dr. Tom, who I will talk about in a moment, has come up with this, any Mobius strips, may they be unwound, untied and decimated, totally blown apart so that they can never come back again. They are never able to reconstitute. For this reason, in Happy Mouth, we usually only run a clearing three times. There are certain cases where we will run it more for particular things, but three times and usually that issue is cleared, it's gone, or that piece of it's gone. So we don't run repeating loops. For this reason, when people come to a Happy Mouth class, particularly the three-day class, but even with our short mini class, the basics class, it's very intense. We clear some very deep foundational energies about growing towards life and living, about committing to life, not death, about a lot of happy mouth is about not judging yourself. A lot of happy mouth is about receiving. A lot of happy mouth is about happy, <laughs> getting happy. And we do that through the mouth. We say, actually, that anything that's not working for you in your, in your life is eventually going to show up in your mouth. So you can start at the mouth and work outwards 
So if you've got uh, aching teeth or jaws from clenching and grinding, we can look at what is that actually there. And let's just talk about clenching and grinding. Uh, most people clench and grind. They don't even realize they do it. We do it while we're sleeping, but we also do it a bit during the day. And what is that? And it can lead to pain in here. It can lead to joint problems here, but a lot of wear and tear on the teeth, a lot of gum problems actually. It's very destructive. What is it? Well, it's actually all about the past. It's where we are still stuck in the past, blaming ourselves, regretting something, feeling ashamed or bad about something we did or didn't do. It's where we keep going back over, oh, why did I do that? I should have said this, or I can't let go of this sadness, or I can't let go of that anger. Oh, all about the past. What we've found is that if you clear that, and you can clear it, then you get to be in the present moment. In the present moment, you get to choose what you would like to create for your future. You are no longer bound by your family, your past history, anything that occurred before. You get to start fresh. And this is amazingly clearing for the body. The body can begin to heal itself and have health. But you also, what we find with happy mouth is that people's ability to um, speak up for themselves, say what they truly would like to be able to say, and their ability to choose what they would like to do with their lives and be changes dramatically. Uh, let me just have a look at the questions here. Okay. Missed and broken pieces. Yes, you can. Um, it takes, it can take up to a year for your body to remineralize a broken off piece of a tooth or a hole in a tooth or the worn enamel. And that's simply because the body has got to gather the calcium, all of the minerals that's required, the growth hormones to get that going. Um, yes, so you can absolutely change that. But this is not Harry Potter's, you know, um, Hogwarts Academy in Happy Mouth. You don't come along and we give you a magic wand. We are dealing with the physical body. It takes time to bring new physical features into actuality. Perhaps sometime in the future, we'll be able to go bing and have a new tooth. But right now, it takes about two years to grow a new tooth. Um, and you can only grow a new tooth where you have an empty space for a tooth. So if you've already got an implanted tooth, or a root canaled tooth, as far as your body's concerned, you have a tooth that's functioning and it, does, it won't grow a new one there for you. I should go back. I'm all over the place with my uh, introduction here. Um, Dr. Tom Colso is the American dentist who's been practicing for many years, more than 20 years. Um, who came up with the Happy Mouth system. And he's been developing it over about 18 years. Why? Well, he realised with dentistry that for all that cosmetic dentistry is amazing and they can do fantastic things to rebuild teeth and give you uh, implanted teeth and false teeth, it is still about amputating or cutting out pieces of tooth like when they drill for a filling, when they remove a tooth or when they cut away gum or bone and replacing it with something artificial and synthetic. And while that's wonderful, he started to ask, what else is possible? Why can't the body do this for itself? We know now that parts of the body do and can regenerate quite naturally. Well, we've always known that your skin is constantly renewing itself, that your skeleton, your bones are always renewing themselves, that we've discovered that the liver can regenerate. But did you know that there's many people, and this is documented evidence, that if they have their tonsils removed, 
regrow the tonsils and they have to be removed again. There are people who spontaneously grow a new tooth as it's required. And uh, hello from Mexico. Hello, Jose, that's wonderful. Um, so this is not unknown, but Tom started to ask questions, well, what else is possible with bodies? Now, one of the things that started to occur for him as he was attending um, classes um, to learn more about consciousness was that certain points in his own head would start to turn on, uh, get quite intense and buzzy. And then he noticed that as he was working with his patients in the dental chair, a different point would turn on and this person would have, for example, gum disease. And he would ask, oh, so is this point to do with gum disease? Yes, it is. So over a period of years of asking questions, noticing what was showing up in his body is how the system began to be developed. We're very fortunate. So I'm not a dentist. But even if I were a dentist, I am not your dentist. You should always go to the dentist to find out what's going on. If you have a pain, you need to know, is that pain in my tooth because there's an infection there and that needs to be dealt with? Is the pain in the tooth because the nerve is in trouble? You have to find out. Your dentist can actually be a terrific ally in your, in your dental health. Now, I still go to my dentist every six months. Um, I haven't had to have any work done for quite a while. I just get them cleaned. And she always says, oh, Shauna, your teeth are great for a woman your age. Thank you very much, dentist. Um, oh, your gums are good. Okay, but she never asks me what I'm doing. And that's fine. But if I had a pain in the tooth, I'd be asking her, can you x-ray that and let's see what's going on underneath? Then I can choose what I would like to do with what I know about happy mouth, for example. So you need to know what's going on. You can't just guess. By this, I get a lot of people who come to me and by the time they've come to me, they're in intense pain. They've been in pain for a while and maybe that tooth has already died or there's infection there. I'm not a dentist. I have to advise you, please go and find out what's going on. Maybe you need antibiotics. Sometimes the body does need antibiotics. Right, okay. So um, let me just run a clearing for all of us. All of your um, expectations, judgments, projections, fears and phobias about dentists and dentistry which does not allow you to receive all of the good things about dentists and dentistry because of the bad things. Could we uncreate and destroy all of that, please? From and to the highest good of all involved that benefits the oneness of the universe, A through F, all seven systems, all seven powers, POP, VFs, PPFs, all systems visible and invisible and beyond thereof, ad infinitum, and all Mobius strips, may they be unwound, untied and decimated through all time and space so that all of life may continue to come with ease, joy and glory in holiness. Right, so I'm just looking here at what people have asked me. Yes, Maria, a lot of people do have um, phobias about the dentist because of negative experiences. Um, and you need to unlock that. What is that about? So how many lifetimes for all of you, not just Maria, did you die from an injury to the mouth? Because it's not so very long ago, before antibiotics, for example, 70, 80, 100 years ago, if you had an injury to the mouth and there was infection, people just died. There was nothing they could do. Um, if you had a, an injury in war, if you had a gunshot, if a horse kicked you in the mouth, there wasn't a lot they could do for you. So any lifetime where you've died from an injury to the mouth or an abscessed tooth, an infection in the tooth, we know from uh, mummified bodies from ancient Egyptian times that some of those people died from, either they died from a tooth abscess or they were in terrible pain for many years 
from infections in the teeth and the jaw. So all of the lifetimes, well, you may have died from a wound to the mouth, an injury to the mouth, and it was a horrible and painful death, or you had some kind of dentistry done to you that was, you know, it's not so very long ago that the person who took out teeth was the same man who put the shoes on the horses. And he did it with those great big, um, you know, what do you call those great big instruments made of metal? So, or the local barber in, in town took out people's teeth. So all of those experiences, whew, would you be willing to uncreate and destroy them all, please? Because those energies get stuck and limit us now. From and to the highest good of all involved that benefits of one is the universe, A through F, all seven systems, all seven powers, POC VFs, PPFs, all systems visible and invisible and beyond thereof, ad infinitum, and all Mobius strips, may they be unwound, untied, and decimated through all time and space, so that all of life may continue to come with ease, joy, and glory and holiness. So um, one of the things that I noticed was, uh, this was just before I found Happy Mouth about five years ago. I was ha having lots of problems with my teeth. Um, I've never had problems before, but anyway, I went to see this dentist and I didn't really, you have to like your dentist. That's the first thing I will say to you. Find a dentist you like and you trust. This was my mum's dentist. I wasn't really comfortable with her, but you know, I thought, get over yourself, Shauna, sit down, see the dentist. In the next room, there was a teenage girl crying and screaming going no 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 don't do anything and her parents going come on darling you'll be all right just let the dentist do this no 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 screaming and crying and carrying on a big drama and it was i mean really screaming then i realized wow every time you go to the dentist you're very aware you will be aware of everything that's ever occurred in that chair that you're sitting in in that room even if you don't hear it in the next room, you are that aware. So everything that is, you might want to uncreate and destroy where you pick up just walking into the dental office, other people's fears, other people's anxieties, worries. And then, of course, there's the financial aspect of going to the dentist, which freaks us all out. How much is this going to cost me? Um, you might want to uncreate and destroy all of that. And the other thing I would like to mention to you is, thank you, Sharon, I'll give you the recording. She has to go. Um, if you are a healer, if you know that you have capacities and talents as a healer, you will tend to be very aware of people around you who have disease or illness in their body. But I'd like to ask you, if you're interested in the mouth and the teeth, I wasn't particularly interested in dental health or the mouth or teeth until I had problems there. And then I was very interested <laughs> in getting it cleared up. But what had become apparent to me was as a healer, I had been around some people who had terrible teeth. I mean, they had not been to the dentist ever. They had decay. They had broken teeth. They were in a lot of pain. I actually married somebody like that. So we were together for 20 years. Quite often in your attempts to assist them or heal them, you will start to duplicate or match their vibration in your body. It's a talent or a capacity. How's it get any better than that? So the thing is to say to your body, thank you body for showing me. Thank you for giving me this awareness whether it's about somebody else's body or about something that I've been creating in my life, let's change it. And if there's one thing that I would like you to take away from today's intro is that your body was naturally designed to heal and generate itself and that you can change just about anything. We can change it. What else is possible? Um, someone is asking me, uh, my gums bleed and feel swollen. I do regular checkups and follow the cleaning advice, but I haven't managed to improve the situation. What would you suggest? Okay, so we have, um, I'm going to send all of you a guide to getting started right now. Things that you can do 
from today that will start to change your gum health and the health of your whole mouth. We have, we recommend a mouthwash. Now look, I've always been a natural health nut. I've always been a bit loopy that way for the last 40 years. You know, I've preferred to have natural food and natural medicine and herbs and vitamins and what have you. So I've never used a mouth wash because I thought it was chemicals. But as Dr. Tom has pointed out to me, there is a particular mouthwash we recommend which does not harm the body. It's very good. It's called Original Listerine. It's a gold colour in a big bottle. It's not expensive. A big bottle is lasts you for a year and it's like 20 bucks. You mix half of that, and don't worry, I'm going to send you this information, half that and half hydrogen peroxide 3%. You swish it around your mouth and spit it out. It has the effect of killing all the bad bacteria in your mouth. It does slightly whiten your teeth, which is nice, but it starts to improve your gum health. So that's number one, Anna. Um, you will need to have an ultra soft toothbrush softest toothbrush you can find and use it very very gently most of us do brush too hard you need to brush and floss after every meal use the mouth while you've got bleeding gums use the mouth rinse three times a day other people can use it once a day um, and there's some other things in there that we suggest you do uh, no, and Marie is saying if we start following all the suggestions and there's other things in that, it's about six or seven pages of suggestions, can we reduce the time it takes to regrow a new tooth? Look, possibly, um, but usually two years is what it takes everyone to grow a new tooth. It takes a child three years. We're quicker because our mouth and jaw is already big enough to accommodate an adult tooth. A child's jaw has to grow. Um, anything's possible, uh, Maria, but we have found it's about two years. How you could speed it up is if you had a broken off tooth and you actually use the energy that is still left there to save yourself possibly six months. But we go into that in the three-day class. So let me explain a little bit more. Oh, bad breath. Okay. Yeah. We have some questions in the Spanish chat. So let me know when we okay. can do that. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to ask, answer this one about the bad breath. The bad breath one is really interesting because it can be coming from many different causes. So you have to kind of be like a detective and eliminate what the causes are. A really simple one is, um, I had a boyfriend who always had bad breath, but he ate a lot of raw garlic and onions. <laughs> that was pretty simple. Um, okay. See, it can be coming from inside. It can be coming from your gut. It can be coming from a candida overgrowth. And if you've checked out that it, there's no decay in your um, teeth and no pockets in your gums, Daniela, I would actually go for the uh, mouth rinse three times a day and uh, flossing after every meal and see what the change is. But I might speak to you privately about that because there's, there's more to it than that. Uh, what is the concentration? I'm reading Spanish. What is the concentration of the hydrogen peroxide? 3%. Don't get any higher than 3% but I'm going to send it to you and I have it in Spanish as well as English. I don't have it in Portuguese yet, but it's coming. So I want to get back to explaining more fully what the happy mouth system consists of. Points on the head, hands-on processes for regrowing teeth, gums. There's also a microorganism which should eat the plaque and the calculus, which is that hard stuff that gets built up on your teeth. Excuse me. <coughs> need to have a drink we have a process to bring those microorganisms you're welcome back to life so they take care of your plaque and calculus 
We have the verbal processing, the clearings, which we do a lot of in the class. If someone just had their points run, they would get the change. They don't have to have the verbal processing. But we give you that because we assume that if you're coming to class, you want to see results, you want to get this sorted, you want change fast. We understand that your clients may not be the same as you. And so Happy Mouth is actually a system for you to become a practitioner if that's what you're choosing. You could just be a practitioner for your family and friends, of course. You could just learn the system so that you can get your family and friends to do it on you, so you get the change. And you can do this as a professional. So, you can, how can you learn the system? You can learn the system by attending or buying an online replay. And at the moment, it's difficult because there's not many live classes happening with the lockdown. The next live class that's scheduled, three-day class, is in um, Argentina in December. We will send you the information. Dr. Tom will be facilitating that class. I will have one in Australia towards the end of this year, and I'll be back in Europe as soon as we can fly again. But this is how it is. There is a small class called the Basics. It's three and a half hours, so half a day or one evening. You learn the points and how to do sessions for someone who has gum disease and tooth decay. They are the most common problems. Most people would have to start with those sessions to begin with. So if you did three and a half hour basics class, you're a practitioner, you have a manual, you can go out and start doing sessions for people. Happy Mouth sessions need to be every day for 21 days. That is what the body requires to activate the systems. 21 days of someone touching the points on your head. You have six points, yes, I think, in the basics class. There are 17 points in the three-day class. So, if you take the basics class, it's 270 US dollars wherever you live around the world. If you'd like to come to a live class sometime in the future, we take that $270 off your live class because we want you to come and learn the whole system. We're encouraging you. If you would like to just go straight in, you can. You can go to a live three-day class or you can buy the online replay of Dr. Tom teaching the full Happy Mouth system for three days. If after you buy that, you want to come to a live class, we make it very cheap for you. So if the three day class is $1,950 to buy, it depends on the country. Um, Michael, can you repeat the, the price? I'm sorry. For the price for after they take the class online, the cheap price <laughs> that you mentioned. If they come, if they buy the class and then they want to come, how much is it? If they, okay, this does not apply in South America. I'm talking for uh, uh, people in other areas in the world. We're not able to sell the replays into South America because of copyright. But the basics class is 270 US dollars. So if you then go to a live class, you get your $270 back in a way. That's taken off the price of the live three-day class. If you buy the three-day recorded class and then you want to go to a live class, it's only either $325 or $375, depending where it is in the world. Because we want you to go to, a, it's better to go to a live class. Of course, we get that. But at the moment with lockdown, it's a fantastic time to learn the system online and get cracking and start using it with your family and friends and your own body. It's a big system and there's a lot to learn. The three days is very intense. There's a lot of information about fillings, about trauma, 
what I didn't know is that every time you get a new filling done, the drill traumatizes the tooth. And the tooth has no way of releasing that shock or trauma. So it leads to cracking or degeneration of that tooth eventually. Nobody tells you that. You think, oh, I've got a hole in my tooth. The dentist is going to put a filling in it. I'll be right. Well, no. So we, you can actually release the trauma in the tooth. So it doesn't have to crack. It doesn't have to degenerate. So whatever you've already got in your mouth, you have to get out of judgment of it and stop judging yourself. Happy mouth will improve and help whatever you've already got. It can't change. If you've got a filling, it doesn't change the filling. But it improves the health of the tooth, the root, the gum, the bone under that. If you're going to have braces to straighten up and align your teeth, happy mouth will speed that up remarkably. We've had very, very good results with that. Um, using happy mouth alone to try and realign jumbled teeth is very slow. Very slow. It takes a long time. To speed it up, it's actually a dietary thing. You need to have a highly alkaline diet to straighten up your teeth. People who live in a natural, um, indigenous, native culture, often if, if their diet is highly alkaline, which means lots of fresh vegetables, lots of fruits, not many starches, not many breads, pastries, hamburgers, donuts, not many things like that, a natural diet, tend to have very straight and even teeth. So you can speed up your process for yourself if you start to change your diet. Um, okay, another question here. Um, so you can go see a practitioner over 21 days and get your systems activated, or you can learn the system yourself and then ask a friend or your husband to run the um, points for you. Okay, I'm just, okay, Claudia, with your Spanish questions. Yes, let me get to that. Okay. It says, with respect to a, an injury on my molars, what is that related to? If I have an injury in my molars, what is that related to? Well, it's not, we wouldn't, it's not important to know why you created that. It may become obvious to you. It's more important that you get to release the trauma associated with it. Because I might, I might hit my head in an accident and I go, why did I do that? Well, maybe I was trying to give myself a wake up call, but there could be a million reasons. It doesn't matter. What matters is how I go forward after that. Thank you. Next one, it says, a year and a half ago, I had an auto transplant, a bone auto transplant, and my x-ray noted that, okay, hold on. I needed an, a transplant and my x-ray noted that I, it was ready, but we could not do it because it was impossible to do it for, for a professional because I was in a real pain and I had a lot of anesthesia. And after a while, they said, okay, we can't do it. Your, my, your body's telling me not to continue. Okay. I guess that was, it was just sharing, not a question. Yeah, that's okay. Hang on a minute. I have to cough because there's a lot of energy on that. <coughs> okay. Um, who, who asked that question? Let me see what her name is. Maria Castillo. If she knows the um, access body process called MTVSS, uh, all of you, that is wonderful for anything, but it's particularly good for regrowing and strengthening bone and uh, anything that's going on in your mouth.
Hope that's going down okay. Yes, hold on. I'm I'm getting uh I'm getting to speed. And then there's another question that we answered already. If there's a possibility to do a class in Latin America. Uh, yeah, I mean, Tom will be there in um, December in Argentina. Uh, but we can't sell any recorded classes into, um, into South America. And that, Can they buy the recorded class in Argentina, the basics recorded class? No, we can't no. sell any recorded classes because of copyright. We haven't sorted out our copyright legalities there. So unfortunately, no. But, you know, you will be there soon, Claudia, I hope, to be facilitating basic classes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Tom will come to um, Argentina and I'm, I would love to come back to Rio. I was in Brazil three years ago and ran a basics class in Brazil. So I'm very happy to come back to and run a three day class or a basics class in, in Brazil, in Rio. As soon as we can travel again. And then we have another question. Let me read it first and then I'll translate it. Yep, good, good. Ah, oh, thank you, Tamar. Okay, thanks for letting us know. I think we're up to one hour now. Okay, this is a very interesting one. So let me uh, let me translate it for you. And it says. Um, I have my it says I have a special granddaughter with a syndrome called digital orofacio and the doctors explained that the syndrome includes multiple multiple disabilities and malformations one of them is that it she doesn't have her full teeth and she has four tongues and cysts on the tongue, alopecia, and cannot speak well. This process well, works well for her. In Mexico, the doctors do not know how to treat it. The rehab it requires is not even in Mexico. So basically, she's asking if happy mouth will, will help with this condition. Well, it certainly is not going to hurt her and can only support um, the growth in her mouth. And the younger you can start with your children with happy mouth, they have much quicker response than we do. And oh, when you're ready, Claudia. I'm ready. Yeah, so ask her, what is her awareness? Always follow your awareness, guys you will know if something's for you or not. Always, always, always ask the question. Um, any hands-on is going to assist that child. And the access body processes, the happy mouth, it's all going to assist the child. Will the child be normal? Well, she clearly has chosen not a normal, normal life. It's a very different life. But can this assist her to have more ease and happiness with it? Absolutely. Oh. 
I'm, I'm reading to see if we have any, any more questions because we do have some uh, comments, but let me see if we have any more questions. Okay, well, just for now, I'll reply to Anna's question, which is, um, she says you can't get gold Listerine in Argentina. And she's given me a link and I will check it out. But as long as it's called original Listerine, because that was ac is actually made with infused light and it's not bad for your body. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, she's saying that, yes, her awareness is that this happy mouth will help her a lot. So thank you, Shana. Ah, good. Okay. How's it getting any better than that? Uh, the original and they're also asking about uh, the class in Argentina, but yeah, I told them already that they cannot buy the replay. Yeah, so that's right. We're, we're done with questions. Okay, so um, apparently in Brazil, there's no original Listerine either. So let me check into that. That's a pity. Um, I wouldn't be using any of the other Listerines. They're not the same kind of formulation. Not in Bolivia either. Oh, okay, what else is possible? I can't bring 24 cases of the stuff with me. I wish I could. Okay, I'm going to ask Dr. Tom what, what we can do if we can't get original Listerine. Oh, it can be found on Amazon. Yeah, well, you could buy it online. And maybe get together and buy a carton lot and share it out amongst you to make it cheaper. Okay, I'm going to get off the line now. That's an hour. So basically, happy mouth is a series of points on the head, hands on, and verbal processing that can change just about anything that's going on in the mouth. But you will get the effects in every area of your life. It is very much about um, the growth and regeneration and receiving of your whole life, not just your mouth. But if you're in pain in your mouth, that's all you care about. That's all I cared about when I was in pain and my teeth were falling apart and I was in despair. So once you get that cleared up, and it might take one to two years to clear that up, there's this incredible expansion in all areas of your life. So it is a rejuvenation process. My mother, who's 87 and I'm 61, we um, have been doing Happy Mouth now for about four or five years. It's quite remarkable for us. And her dentist, mum's dentist is amazed that she's, her teeth are so great at 87. So how does it get any better? Thank you everyone. This was just meant to be a bit of an intro, just to explain a little bit about the Happy Mouth system. Um, and perhaps we, we can do some more of these free Zooms. I have another one tonight for the European crowd. So how's it get any better? Okay. Thanks everyone. Thank you to Claudia for translation. Um, thank you. Thank you. And we Mr. have you. Yeah, sorry. We have one more question. It says, yeah. uh, ya activaron alguna clase para poder dar clases en... Oh, she, I'll, I'll text you with that question. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's exciting. Yeah. All right. And thank you to Vanessa and Marcela who are going to be the hosts. And Claudia, maybe you're going to be the host in Argentina too. I can't remember. Um, and we really look forward to the Portuguese people coming, the Portuguese speakers, I mean, the Brazilians. Woohoo! That would be fantastic. Yay! <laughs> uh, and thank you, Carol Danes, for helping out. So, yep, I'll download, upload, do whatever all the magical stuff is and get it all out to you ASAP. Thanks, guys. Bye, Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 <laughs>